there. Or if you live with other people, put their stuff somewhere else and only have your go-to cabinet. You know, I don't care if it has to be under the sink. Your go-to section and just don't look at theirs. If you have to cook their food, okay, you know what? That food isn't yours. That's toys. They choose to consume that. Don't assume that it's for you. Don't give yourself that choice. Stock your kitchen is the first step. Healing yourself long term, it's not just a band-aid, it's the healing, you know? It's the real health insurance. It's knowing you're going to grow old with your best chance of having a vibrant mind and a healthy body, you know? I read this quote by Thomas Edison. It said, The doctor of the future will no longer treat the human frame with drugs, but rather cure and prevent with nutrition. Where the heck has this world gone? Because my body is not a graveyard. Have you ever heard that? It's not a graveyard for dead, rotting carcass or chemical toys. I eat live food for a live body. Chemical loaded, synthesized, false food. That's not what we want. Less refined crap, less packaging. Look in your trash can, how much packaging do you have in there from food you eat? Or can you throw it all in the backyard and it will rot? You know, how many nutrients can you pack in your body per calorie so you can grow healthy skin and cells and organs, you know, healthy teeth, bright eyes, good vision, healthy hair, healthy thoughts, and a healthy attitude. You know, what about the, the cruciferous vegetables that have all those cancer-fighting properties? You know, that's another thing I keep on hand a lot of times is Brussels sprouts and mushrooms. I find they're a great hearty component to my diet in a salad. I can marinate them and even put them in the dehydrator a bit and they have a more dense, sort of like a cooked feel, um, but yet they're raw collards and kale and carrots and cabbage, you know? Enzyme-rich sprouts. You know, people need to be taking responsibility for their own health. Plant-based foods, more raw every day for the win. So, that was just a trip down my shopping list for y'all today. And now I'm going to pick my little girl up and I'm taking her shopping for her 18th birthday. And she's going to choose some cute clothes and I don't know, whatever else my baby girl wants within reason, you know. <laughs> and then I'm going to see if she'll dance. <laughs> you see me out on the town. Did you see me out on the town? Sing my song at a hotel room just to turn you on to